Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So today I'm going to do a look on Olivia who works in my studio here and she runs the jewelry customer service. So if you've ever bought a ring or anything from me, um, you've probably had an interaction with her in email. She's absolutely lovely, gorgeous girl. She doesn't normally wear makeup and she's really quite shy and quiet. And um, I did ask her a few weeks ago to be in my Elevated Glow tutorial and I think that was kind of her first time of really being on camera or having any makeup kind of applied. And then last week, because I always look at her face and I always think, mm, there's a hidden bombshell in there. Um, last week I had some new products arrive at the studio and um, I just ended up kind of doing this really fast look on her and filming it on the I iPhone and sort of speeding it up. And then when we'd finished, I said, wow, you look like a Brigitte Bardot, you've got this sort of baby Bardot look going on. So I said, would you mind if I put it on my um, Instagram, which I did. And so many people were like, oh, we have to see a full tutorial for this look. So here is the kind of hidden bombshell look with Olivia. Okay, so you're back in the chair, Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> Having another look. How did you like it last time? I loved Having it. Having full makeup on. Yeah, it was so different, but I really liked it. Brilliant. So I'm starting with um, MAC Paint Pot, and this is the shade Painterly. I'm going to use it all over Olivia's eyelids. And this is just really to even out the skin tone there. It's also a really good base for the powder eyeshadow. So I'll just blend that all over and give that a minute to set. So I'm going to use this Beautopsy palette by Hindash and this is something I bought recently because I was very intrigued. I just love all of this gradation of matte colour, matte pigments. So you can use these colours for eyes, obviously you could use them for a bit of sculpting or setting even, and you could use it for blush or contouring or whatever. So I really like, it's a very makeup artisty type of palette which um, I really enjoy. So I'm going to start with this shade which is from the colour Tan Lines, and this is the almost um, quite similar to the colour that was naturally on Olivia's eyelids before we blocked that out with the paint pot. So I'm just going over just with a really light wash over the lid and up towards the socket line. So the next shade I'm going to use is this colour from Feel Real. So this starts with a really warm brown and goes through to a deeper cool grey. So I'm going to go probably in the centre, so something that's in between, maybe slightly warmer. I think that is a good tip as well, if you're not a makeup artist and you're using this palette, if you did one eye like perfectly and then tried to replicate it on the other side, you'd have to make sure you went back in exactly in the same position because a slight move either way could completely change the, the shade. So let me just have a look at this colour. So I'm just using that kind of into the socket line a little bit. And then just open for me there, Olivia. And then just resting here, you have a slightly hooded eye and a really good tip for that is to kind of map out your shape and then look straight ahead and then you can really see the shape that we want there. I'm going to go back in with that warm brown and just work it really from about the centre towards the edge. So I'm just trying to build up a little bit of definition here. almost packing on that colour now and if you do have more of a hooded eye shape then you can get away with really putting quite a lot of colour into that socket area because you can diffuse it up then 
to really create some shape in the eye. And I'm going to keep going with that to really get the depth there that I want. So now I'm just using a gel liner. This is a black one, just at the roots of the lashes. So again, just lifting up the brow area and working right into the roots there. So now I'm going in with a little blending brush and I've got some of the dark grey powder from the palette. And I'm going to use this just to soften the line and really continue to work it into the roots of the lashes as well. In terms of winging out or shape, I'm going to wait until I finish the eyeshadow and I've also put some lashes on because then I can see exactly where I want my wing to be so I'm not going to do any more there at the moment. Just look down for me Olivia. So I'm going to give a really good curl. You're right there. Yeah. A bit traumatic of this mm -hmm. isn't it? This is the medieval torture section. Mm -hmm. See? A bit more that way. Okay let's have a look. And then that way darling. Really good Olivia. I think you've got more used to this now yeah. since last Practice. time. Let's see. And then just putting a layer of mascara on before the lashes go on. So onto lashes and I'm going to use these Wispies by Ardell. I will need to trim them. So if you, this is quite a good tip, if you're just figuring out how long that way a lash can be open, you can see that it's going to be, they're going to be too long. So I'm actually going to take off you can either take off one from the inner corner or one from the outer corner. Let me see which is going to work for you. I think they're quite nice long at that outer edge. Look at me again, this here. Yeah, I quite like those. So I'm going to take one actually from the inner corner here and just slice through the band. And then I'm going to glue these up and wait for about 30 seconds until the glue gets tacky. So they're stuck on now. Now I'll need to go back over the liner because often when you put your lashes on, especially with black glue, it will change the liner slightly. So I'm going to go back in with a liquid liner this time and just trace over the liner from before. What's really good is when you use a matte drying liner as well, because sometimes the glue can dry shiny, which doesn't look great. So putting liner over the top will just mattify it. And this time I'm going to do the, the wing. So just look at me straight there and look down again. So I'm just going to map out where I want that wing to be. So I'm just lifting Olivia's brow to get my initial shape. And then as the brow is relaxed, I will make adjustments. And this is the best way really to do liner on more of a hooded eye shape. So I'm just going back in with a liquid liner just to really perfect the edge of the wing here. So once that's dry, I'm going back in with the gel liner and just getting Olivia to open her eyes, look straight ahead. This is the best way I think to do liner with hooded eyes or if your eyes are quite different to each other and you'll just be making those adjustments. It may be that the liner needs to be a bit different on each eye, but you want to make it look good when your eyes are open. Then I'm taking a Q-tip with a little bit of micellar water just to really get a sharp edge underneath those outer edges. So I'm going to use some elevated glow highlighter. This is Crystal Nebula. 
thrust over the cheek and cheekbone area. So on to foundation and I'm actually using Olivia's own foundation because I think this is a good level of coverage and a good shade. So just working really from the center out towards the edges. So for under eyes, I'm going to use this peachy corrector by Clinique to start with. This has got a lightweight airbrush concealer. Just going to lift any shadows there. And then just pat that into place. I've used this product for such a long time. I just like it because it's really lightweight, but it does have coverage. So I'm just using this concealer on top. And I'm using it also just on any areas that are still a little bit red. Just a touch more yellow, golden. This is a little bit yellower than normal, but Olivia, although she has a lot of rose and pink in her skin, she's also, you've got quite a lot of um, sallowness here actually, quite yellow there. So it's quite good to you know, just take down a little bit of the redness that's left just in the cheek here. Next I'm applying blush. I'm using Enlivening Blush in Venetian Red. I just want something quite natural on the cheeks just to bring a touch of freshness, mainly really just to the apples of the cheeks. I'm blending it into the foundation there. So before I set everything, I'm just gonna do a little bit of pinpoint concealing just here and there. So I'm just going to set everything now. Give that, now that it's sinking in the under eye concealer, I'm going to give it one more pat and then some powder. And then just set the foundation and any of the concealing. So for under the eyes, I'm just going to start with the tan shade, which is the first shade use just as a, a wash and then I'm going to use the color right at the bottom of the palette which is I guess almost black and just start to smoke out that outer corner and then lift up and smoke in towards the eyeliner putting plenty of mascara on the lower lashes. And again, really getting down to the roots there. I like to take my time with this. Quite like using quite a precise brush and really working them. So I'm just gonna go back into the eyeshadow now. I just wanna give a little bit more depth into here. It's quite good to do this when the eyes are almost done. I might even take make it a little bit darker. So it's almost a brownie black shade there, but I'm going to blend that on my arm. So I'm just building up a kind of fake socket line there, some fake depth, and then just really blending that. So now I'm going to add a little touch of shimmer. I'm going to use this shade sparkling sand but with a brush so it's more diffused and I think I'll just use that close for me just a little bit in the center 
and towards the inner corner of the eye just there. You'll only really see it when Olivia's eyes are closed, probably. See, just look straight ahead. And this shade here, Shimmering Pearl, let's try that at the inner corner. So I'm going back in with the black mascara just to really push it into the roots there of the upper lashes so that the natural lashes and fake lashes are really bonded together. So for brows, I want a nice natural brow, but a little bit more definition. So I'm going to use this Kevin O'Quan brow pen just to draw some little hairs in, especially here at the inner corner, just to define. And then to finish, I'm going to use the gel, which comes with it, to brush them up and to hold them in place. So to really sculpt and contour, I'm using a mixture of bronzer and a contour powder, just trying to get that balance between a warm bronzer and the cool tones of a real contour powder. So I'm mixing them together. I'm going to take the same mix along the jawline as well. And then to finish off, I'm just using the bronzer on its own along the temples and the top of Olivia's forehead. So on to lips. I'm going to use, I'm not using the Muse pencil this week that I did on Instagram for this look last week because I know it's not available at the moment. It is coming back in September though. So I'm going to use this Serge Luten one. So I'm just going to follow the natural line of Olivia's lips on the top because you've got a lovely pouty top lip. So we're going to go quite pouty on there just following your natural lip line and then I might slightly overdraw on your lower lip line but let's have a look. Okay and then smile for me. And then I'm going to fill in with the pencil. Now I'm just going in with a slightly darker pencil. I don't want it all the way around, just giving a little bit more shadow there at the edge, just for the poutiness. And smile, big smile, great. And then for lips, I'm going to use Kitten Mischief. Just part your lips slightly, please. Great. For some extra sheen in the cheeks, I'm going back in with Crystal Nebula highlighter and just patting it into the skin just so it really fuses and gives that natural glow. Touch more glam. Okay, so you're almost done, Olivia. And to complete your transformation, should we just do your hair a little bit? Yeah, it's good. Because I know you like to tongue <laughs> your hair. So let's do that. Yeah. Wow, you look amazing. Thank How you. do you feel? I love it. It's you incredible. Look gorgeous. Your cheekbones. Wow. I think it looks like you. It's just more sort of bombshelly a bit more <laughs> enhanced thank you so much olivia i really enjoyed doing your makeup thank you